tossing of dice. Assume that each face of a die is equally likely to land uppermost. Consider a game which involves the tossing of five such dice. Find the probability that the number six appears uppermost in exactly one die, at least one die, exa in exactly two dice. Okay, so uh, once again, we have uh, capital N, the total number of dice. This is five. And uh, N is the number of dice having uh, six uppermost so when it lands it has to be sixth and n prime is the number of dice not having six uppermost okay now we would like to have uh, we would like to find the probability of having six uppermost for one die. So for one die, I have uh, six possible outcomes. And what are those? It can land either one uppermost, two uppermost, three uppermost, four, five, or six uppermost. So remember, for each die we have one, two, three, four, five, or six landing uppermost. And what is the probability of having six uppermost? Because it's equally likely to land, each face is equally likely. So each face is equally likely. Uh, we would have the probability of having six uppermost, P I call probability of having six uppermost for one die it is one possible scenario out of six possible outcomes so it is one over six and Q the probability of not having a six uppermost for one die would be then five over six, so that P plus Q is equal to one. The probability is normalized. Okay, now we're ready to answer uh, the questions that are raised in part A, B, and C. So in part A, we would like to have six uppermost in exactly one die so we're looking for probability of having out of five dice one of them having six uppermost so first of all we have to find the uh, distinct number of ways we can choose one die out of five dice that is combinations of five objects taken one at a time and then the probability for that one die to land up with six uppermost is one over six. So it is one over six to the power one. And while the rest of them should have not six uppermost, so five over uh, six probability to the power five minus one. So this is once again, the binomial distribution capital N objects taken N at a time, P to the N, Q to the N prime. So we, we're looking for joint occurrence of one die having six uppermost and the four, the rest of the four, uh, not having six uppermost at the same time. So it's a product. So this would give us uh, five factorial, five minus one, 4 factorial, 1 factorial, 1 over 6 multiplied by 5 to the power 4, 
6 to the power 4. So this would give us uh, 5 times 4 factorial divided by 4 factorial 1 factorial. So 4 factorials cancel, so we get uh, 5 here. Then we have 5 to the power 4 divided by 6 to the power 5. So the answer is 5 over 6 to the power 5. So what is 5 over 6 to the power 5? This is approximately 0 0.4. And uh, in part B, we want to have uh, number 6 appearing in at least one die. Okay, so let's look at uh, this scenario. So if you want to have uh, the si number 6 appearing in at least one die, uh, we can think of uh, 6 uppermost uh, landing is not appearing in any of the dice. So what is the probability of having uh, out of five dice none of them giving us a uh, six uppermost? Uh, if I add to this the probability of having uh, n equals one or two or three or 4 or 5 the total probability should be adding up to 1 so the meaning of having no landing 6 uppermost so no 6 and uh, this is basically uh, describing for us at least one six uppermost landing okay so what is the probability of having no six uppermost uh, this is going to be five objects taken none at a time five out of uh, zero out of five the probability of having a six was one over six for one die one over six to the power zero 5 over 6 to the power uh, 5 so this would be 5 factorial 0 factorial 5 factorial uh, 5 over 6 1 over 6 to the power 0 is 1 5 over 6 to the power 5 so this would give us 5 over 6 to the power 5 which is approximately 0 0.4 but what we are asking is at least one of them being 6 so we're asking what is the probability of uh, having n equals 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 which means all of them are landing with 6 uppermost and the answer is uh, going to be 1 minus uh, having none of them landing six uppermost and this will be uh, approximately 1 minus 0 0.4 uh, which is um, 0 0.6 so the answer to part B is 0 0.6 um, so we could have calculated this in a different way so we could have calculated probability of having one uppermost this uh, one with six uppermost probability of having two probability of having three probability of having four and probability of having all of them landing with six uppermost so this should also give us uh, 0.6 okay so but it's it's easier to look at the case of no sixes uh, and then subtracting it from one and for part c i want to have exactly 
uh, two of them giving me uh, a six uppermost. So this is n equals two case. So I'm asking what is the probability of exactly two dice out of five giving me uh, six landing uppermost. So I have to choose two objects out of five uh, and two of them will be landing with six uppermost and the rest of them, three of them, will be landing with not six uppermost, five over six to the power three. So this will give us five factorial, uh, five minus two factorial, two factorial, uh, and then we have five to the power three divided by six to the power five. So uh, we have five, four, three factorial, three factorial, two times one, five to the power three, six to the power five. Uh, we have a cancellation of three factorials and we have two cancelling with four giving us a two here so uh, we end up with uh, for this probability of n equals two um, two over six times uh, five over six to the power Four. So if you calculate this, this is approximately 0 0.16. So that would basically appear in the summation if you were to do it for uh, part B, uh, considering the probabilities of n equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 separately. Okay, so uh, we have an experiment that is tossing of five dice. And for each die, we're assuming that the likelihood of uh, landing uppermost is uh, the same for each face. And uh, we're looking for the probability that number six appears uppermost in exactly one die, in at, le at least one die, and in exactly two dice. So total number of dice is 5. I call the number of dice having 6 uppermost is n. And number of dice not having 6 uppermost is n prime. So that n plus n prime is equal to capital N. And for each die there are 6 possible outcomes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 which are equally likely. So the probability of having 6 uppermost is 1 over 6 and not having 6 is 5 over 6 so it's p plus q is equal to 1 so in exactly one die I have to choose one die out of five dice that is uh, five objects taken one at a time combinations of five uh, objects taken one at a time and for one, I want the probability of having uh, six uppermost, so one over six to the power one. And for the rest of them, not having six uppermost at the same time, so it's five over six to the power four. And that gives us, with the binomial distribution, an answer 0 0.4. In order to have six uppermost in at least one die, I can think of the probability of not having six in any of them. And that means I'm choosing none of these uh, objects from five uh, dice and one over six to the power zero. None of them will be landing uh, with six uppermost, but they will all be landing with not six uppermost. So five over six to the power five. So that gives us a probability 0 0.4. So if you want to have at least one of them giving us six, that could be one of them, two of them, three of them, four of them, or all of them giving us six. Uh, that is one minus not having any sixes. So that is 0 0.6. If we want to have exactly two of them giving us six uppermost, then I have to choose two dice out of five dice. So five 
take combinations of five objects taken two at a time and two will give us uh, a six uppermost with probability one over six for each die so one over six square and three of them will give us not six so five over six to the power three so that turns out to be 0 0.16